everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video, but before we could get into that, I have to say that I missed you all last week. I hope you all had a safe and fun holiday season if you celebrate, and a fantastic New Year's. We are in 2024, and we are coming at you with an interesting one. So today we are going to be doing a deep dive into the brand Goop. Now I say deep dive because we actually did a shallow dive. I did a video where I reviewed celebrity brands and we tried a few pieces from the cosmetic side of Goop and then also from G Label by Goop, which is the clothing brand side. And they were cute, but there was a few things. If you remember, the inside looked like it had been shredded on some six, $700 pants, which for that price, I expect it to be pristine. So this brought on a lot of questions in the comments of you guys wanting to see more of this brand and see if it's worth the money. So we're doing that today. So if you don't already know, Goop is made by Gwyneth Paltrow. Ever since Goop was created, I feel like I've seen headlines of it and it's not always positive. A lot of times it's getting scrutinized for some of the weird products that come out, potential dangers of some of the products that come out and just how expensive it is. So I must admit outside of this channel, I probably never would have shopped on Goop. I'm just being honest. On the website, the Goop clothing line G label is described as with an eye to the future and an ear to the past, we create beautiful practical clothing to keep up with the wardrobe demands of the multi-hyphenate woman. I still don't know what multi-hyphenate means. Made in the same US and Italian factories as prominent designer brands with no middleman markups. So you get luxury grade investment pieces at direct to consumer prices. It doesn't really shock me because I actually feel like her prices are very similar to designer brands. Like if I'm just going to use a broad luxury brand like Gucci, a t-shirt from Gucci and a t-shirt from Goop, the prices are very similar. So if they're using the same factories, I'm not shocked. But I must admit, when a brand is expensive, I will scrutinize it a little bit more because I want to make sure that the price is justified. Because one thing that really irritates me is when brands are producing low quality products but doing insane profit margins so you believe it's a high quality product because you're equating the cost with high quality, but it's not. That irritates me the most and I feel like a lot of luxury brands do that. And it annoys me. And I'm getting mad. And we're how long in this video? Not very long. The clothing ranges from low end clearance items that are around $140 all the way to very expensive, like $5,000 dresses. So I want to see with these prices if they were ethical. So I went to the good on you. This is like a site that rates companies. It gets really bad sustainability ratings. Quite a few times it says there is no evidence which basically is saying they're not being transparent about their practices, so you can pretty much assume whatever you want. And a lot of you in the comments have mentioned that if a brand doesn't openly tell you, they probably aren't doing it, because if a brand is doing something good, they will tell you they're doing something good. But if they're maybe doing something not so good, they're gonna keep very quiet about it. I wish there were more laws about transparency with brands so you know what you're buying and how it's being produced, but there just really isn't. Aside from that though, Goop Beauty is actually certified cruelty free, which is so confusing because G Label is literally lambskin leather. I still feel like these pieces have a large markup, even though they say they're cutting the middleman costs, but that's just a personal opinion. I could be completely wrong about that. The actual ethics are not mentioned enough. And then sustainability, I think is completely out the window. I don't even think that they're thinking about that, but one of their statements is they create timeless pieces that are high quality. So that could be seen as sustainable in a way because okay, you buy one white t-shirt that's very high quality, it's expensive, and you can have it for 30 years. It never pills, it never rips, and you can just keep wearing it. In that way, it's sustainable because you didn't have to buy eight t-shirts over 30 years, you just had the one. So that I think is the perspective they're going on sustainability. So <laughs> I literally have a headache from going through this, but that is a bit about the brand. And did I mention that this brand is very expensive? Well, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, we were able to do this. I wanna say a big thank you to Copilot for sponsoring this video and making shopping on Goop a little less painful for my wallet. 
Thank you. You may have heard me talk about Copilot a couple months ago, but let me tell you about them again and how I've worked them into my routine for so many months now. Copilot is an affordable fitness coach app that links all of the pros of having a personal trainer with the ease of technology. Your virtual coach, who by the way, is in fact a real person. They'll customize guided workouts based on your goals and available equipment, all while keeping you motivated and accountable. You can complete these workouts anytime and anywhere as they're specifically tailored to you and your schedule. So whether you're new to working out, having trouble staying consistent, managing injuries, or just need some help knowing what to do, Copilot has you covered. For me, my issue has always been staying consistent, but my coach Jill completely changed this negative pattern. She keeps me motivated. Not only is she really great and easy to chat with and super informative, she's also really good at changing up my workouts to fit how I'm living at that time. And if you tell your trainer your goals beforehand, they'll tailor the workout so that you're taking steps in the direction of your goals. For instance, I have kind of a unique goal. I want to jump in the air and people will be like, whoa, she's jumped really high. Now I know not everybody wants to grow their vert, but it could be anything. You could, you know, want to get gains in your arms. I obviously don't need that because I already have huge gains in my arms. Obviously. So if I've enticed you at all to check out Copilot, now could be a great time to start with the new year, maybe a new year's resolution of sorts. This is the perfect time because you can click my Copilot link and get a 14 day free trial and 20% off your first month of personalized fitness if you sign up before February 1st. So yeah, thank you Copilot for sponsoring this video. Back to the crazy goop pieces. Thank you to the sponsor for making this $6,500 order happen. Yeah. And it wasn't even 100% just the product. So obviously there was tax, of course. There was this really high fee on my order. It was around $800 and it was just a duty fee. I don't ever get duty fees like that. I mean, this box is big, but it's not that big. I've definitely gotten bigger boxes. So that sucked. Two more pointers for the Goop website. When I narrowed down my size on the side thing there, it did nothing. I would put my size and it would just still show me things that were unavailable in my size. So that's one thing. The second thing is a few times when I was shopping for pieces, the pictures would have drastically different colors. For instance, this denim jacket in one photo, it's almost teal. And then in the other one, it's like a light denim. So I really don't know what color it actually is. But with all of that, I'm going to dive in and I'm going to stop complaining. I'm going to open it with a connecting cord for my hard drive. <laughs> Some of this stuff is on hangers still. Uh, let me see, what kind of plastic bag is this? Is this made from corn or is this real plastic, baby? Yeah, it's just a plastic bag. <sighs> this is a lot of plastic to wrap one article of clothing in. Now, if you get those compostable made from corn bags, it's, it's better. That's kind of the bare minimum you can do in attempt to make an effort to be more sustainable. So whenever I see this, I am a little disappointed. And also may I add that the people who are shopping on Goop and spending, you know, hundreds of dollars probably won't use this plastic hanger. So this probably is destined for the trash for a lot of people, which is also a shame. I understand why brands have to individually wrap each product. I personally think it would be awesome if they could just wrap one plastic bag and put everything into it and that would protect from water damage in the mail and like all that. But this is just so much plastic. When I'm being hard and critiquing a brand, do not get it misconstrued that I'm putting it on you. My issues lie so much in major corporations and the way that they treat the world. Because yes, we should all do our own personal things to try to be more sustainable and that's something I'm definitely working on for myself. But when you think of the worldwide waste, companies are doing so much of it. This is actually a really interesting fabric because it's very thick. It almost feels like a canvas tote bag. This is the read around neck gown. Now this was originally $650 US. It was on a final sale for $195, which I can't believe I'm saying this, but I was literally like, oh my gosh, what a steal. Because once you've scrolled around on Goop for a while and you start seeing the really expensive stuff, $195 US sounds really affordable. We'll see what this looks like on. All right, let's see. Ooh, it fits like a glove. I'm glad I checked the size chart. Oh my goodness, how do I even, I like can't get my arms above my, 
One of the things with this being such a thick canvas is I literally can't get my arm up. Oh, how do I get my, my zipper? I can't get my arms up. This is all I can do. That's so weird. It's, you know what it is actually? Because this poof sleeve doesn't go to an elastic. It just goes to this thick canvas fabric. You don't have any elasticity there. So it really is like, leave your arms by your side and don't think about moving them. That's what this dress is telling me. Okay, so first of all, the fit is fantastic. The zero fits good, so make sure to check the size charts. I don't think I have any clothes with this sort of neckline. It's low enough that it's a little scandalous for me, but it's not too low that I'm flying out of it. And with this, thick, almost canvas printed denim fabric. It's actually very flattering for this dress. The structure is quite pretty and I feel like it's not going to wrinkle easily. It's honestly so pretty. It's more formal than I thought it was gonna be. I thought because of this print, it would be a little bit more of a casual dress, but now that I have it on, it's feeling very formal, but it's very pretty. Like I like the fit. I feel tempted to keep it because it's so pretty. Next, I got these wide leg pleated trouser pants. Now, the last trouser pants I got, they were pretty haggard on the inside. But these ones, these are looking fresh and nice on the inside. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is literally night and day. And I know what you're thinking. Mia, the inside of the pants don't matter as long as the outside looks good. But when you're paying $650 US, you want the inside and the outside to look and feel luxurious. These look good. I wanted to purchase this top because I really wanted to see what the fuss was about. This is $195 US. I like the Henley part of it. We'll put it on. Alrighty, feels nice. Alrighty, so here we go. There's a little uh, bend in the fabric here and it's kind of flopping open. It's weird, the dress was super thick and holding its shape, but the pants are kind of soft soft fabric and flopping open. See, at the bottom there? But it's flopping open a little bit. But okay, we'll talk about the pants first. They are really nice, to be honest. <laughs> They're really nice. I like become a lover of goop. They are lined on the inside with this really nice silky satiny fabric that just slides around. It's quite pretty and I like these two pleats right here and I like the way it fits on the back with the little, these are fake pockets. <sighs> My only critique on the pants is it's flopping open. I just don't like how that looks. Now obviously I could take my sewing machine and just put a little thread right there. Sorry, I've said flop a hundred times right now, but I feel like they should have done that for me. As for the top, the fit is good. I mean, it's kind of a basic, so it's hard to mess up a basic. It's a nice, soft, stretchy ribbed fabric. It's black and opaque, which is nice. I personally do like a Henley. This one goes very low. I think it tucks in nicely, but honestly, it's not worth world's different than a high quality Aritzia Henley. It's nice though. It is nice. This was another sale piece. It was originally $545, but it was on sale for $165. Now I got this in a size 10 and I got it for my mom. So this is actually a dress. It's a very thick canvasy fabric. It's not very soft and I don't imagine incredibly breathable, but we'll let my mom be the judge of that. So mom, <laughs> I have a piece for you. <laughs> so here you go. Oh my, it's like cardboardy. I like the graphic print. Very, very different from what I normally wear. I'm excited to try this. This is like, I can honestly say this is a style like I would never really buy myself. What do you think? Oh, it's cute on you. Is it? I, li there, I like that there's pockets. Oh, I like it. Oh, you're making it work. <laughs> I like the stiffness because it doesn't feel like it's gonna fly away on me. Let me just clean okay. up back here. You got all your crap thrown <laughs> around. I actually like it on you like a lot more than I was expecting. Really? Is it comfortable though? It actually is. It's cute. It definitely gives the hourglass too because without this belt moment, 
you might be drowning in it, but when it makes the accentuated waist, it really is flattering. Don't fully justify this price. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. Thanks, Mia. Okay. Yeah. You're so welcome. <laughs> Okay, these next two pieces, they go together. It's kind of like a two-piece set, but it's sold separately. This is the one thing that if I was shopping on Goop, I actually may have purchased this. Well, I guess, why am I talking hypothetically? I did purchase this. So these are kind of like capri pants, which I would have preferred them to be full length, but this bubblegum pink, stop it. This bubblegum pink has me interested. And then this is so beautiful. It's a zip up in the back. I mean, it's pretty much a strapless blazer. Very fashionable, very pretty. The pink is making it for me. I don't know how I'm gonna look in this. I usually don't like strapless pieces, but this was so unique compared to the other pieces that I really wanted to try it. So let's try that on. First things first. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I feel like if I worked at a law firm, this is what I would try to implement as the... What is it? The dress, dress code. code. <laughs> <laughs> I would try to get it so that this type of vibe was the dress code. This is a slam dunk in this pink color. I also think it would be absolutely beautiful in a black. I think this is a really high fashion, elegant cut of top. I love it. It's kind of like a play on a normal suit jacket, but making it fun and fashionable. The two things I will say is there's a little bit of gapping here. You can probably see right into my bra here, actually. I don't like it. I'll probably have to do a little pin there. And then the second thing, the top is lined, so it's thick enough, but the bottoms are not lined and they're a little bit see-through, honestly. I feel like I can see my skin underneath and I am wearing like a light thong so you can't see it, but for instance, look at this tag. You can see the white tag through the pants. So I feel like the pants need to be lined or thicker material because when you're doing a light color and light feel fabric, there's risks of it being see-through, which this one definitely is see-through. This is the dropped waist tank top dress. This was $525 US. It's a very casual, like it says, dropped waist dress. It switches between two fabrics. You have a very, oh my gosh, so thin, such thinness. Tank top part moves into like, oh my God. This fabric on the skirt is horrible. I'm sorry, I don't wanna be rude. If you've ever bought a really affordable duvet cover and it's just really scratchy and uncomfortable, that's what the bottom of the skirt feels like. I don't know, you guys. We'll see how it looks on. Okay, me and this dress had a little bit of an argument, but we'll see what I think of it on. Okay, I feel kind of like this style is probably not for everybody. I kind of feel like I'm wearing a parachute, but I obviously bought it and paid over $500 US for it because I thought it was cute. And I thought it had a lot of potential to be added to my collection of things that are cute, but also comfortable. Because you guys know I'm always looking for things that, you know, can be dressed up, but you're not gonna feel uncomfortable. I don't think it's like the most flattering thing I've ever worn by any means, but that's not what I was going for. I think it could be like a really pretty beach cover up that you could slip on and go into a nice dining restaurant and no one would blink an eye at it. I just struggle with the price of this one in particular. And this fabric down here is really crusty and cheap feeling, but it also is a lint collector because every single fluff in the air just flies through the air and goes right to this. And with a dark fabric, I just don't like that. So I'm kind of disappointed about this bottom fabric piece. I don't think this is worth 500 US dollars. Someone asked for a $595 US sweater. Well, here you go. This one actually is really soft. What is this made of? Oh, this is 100% cashmere. Okay. And I actually feel like the design is really pretty. I love these brown buttons and a little puff to the sleeve. This has potential actually to be something that I genuinely like and wear. All right, let's see. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave this untucked just so we can see the full shirt because it's just about the shirt. Is this supposed to be a three quarter length sleeve? Because that's pretty short. So here we go. This is so cute. <laughs> I hate to say it. This is so incredibly soft. I honestly don't own anything that's cashmere. It's not really the fabric for me, but this one, it's soft. I also think it can be very much dressed up to businessy or dress down to casual. And I just feel like it's so warm. I honestly though do wish it was a long sleeve. Like the three quarter length is kind of throwing me off, but it's still super pretty. But this was one of the most expensive pieces and I wouldn't reach purchase it obviously, but I hope it lasts a long time. <laughs> it's an nice. <laughs> it is nice. It's so nice. I know. I love that. The last thing we have is another dress. So this one was actually final sale, $178 US, originally $595. And a lot of sizes were available in this. So this just must not have been a hit. Here it is. It's so interesting, the fabric that they chose for these. Not very soft, not very flowy, more structured and incredibly thin. They're so thin, they're almost see-through. Maybe I'll feel differently when I put it on. Last and final dress. Let's see. This is almost the exact color of my skin. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, the fit is really, really pretty. I actually like the double pleat skirt. It's unique. I honestly haven't seen ruffles done like this. The top is also pretty. There's like a wire piece here that's opening it up and it kind of looks like a shell. I don't think the color looks fantastic on me, but that's my own fault. That's not the dress's fault. Definitely. Pretty spinability. I don't want to like go flying off of this fan, but it spins cute. Honestly, no critiques on the fit. It's really pretty. I love a T-length dress. It's just so thin. And this was one of the ones that was on sale. So not priced as crazy. Still expensive, don't get me wrong, but not too bad. Okay, that was a roller coaster. I honestly am going to take a nap immediately after this. I feel like I went from being so mad at not being able to find information about the brand and then the plastic bags. And then I proceeded to really like the clothes. Don't get me wrong, nothing was perfect by any means. I definitely had a few critiques on each piece. For instance, the arm sleeve thing, the fabric being a little bit thin and see-through. But I must say, thank goodness that at the very least, if you're gonna spend this much money on an article of clothing, it's decent. And in comparison to the last time that I tried Goo, those pants must have just been an anomaly because all of these were really well made, really nice and sorted on the inside. So I don't know what was happening with those pants. To all of the people who were asking for me to do a full length video on Goo, I hope this answers a lot of your questions. If there are ever any other brands you'd like me to try out, make sure to let me know them down below and I will get to those. Another big thank you to Copilot for sponsoring this video Video and making it possible. Make sure to click my co-pilot link for a 14 day free trial and 20% off your first month of personalized training if you sign up before February 1st. And yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.